Hi Libra, welcome to your December Singles New Love Tower reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tower. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome, and thank you. Libra, we're reading for singles looking for new love, so it's not about nasty exes or anything like that. If you associate it to that, it's probably not your reading. So Libra, singles, new love. So this can be someone, uh, maybe you're just dating, a crush, um, someone totally new, someone you know but never been romantically involved with them. So Libra, Sun, Moon, ri Rising, Venus, male or female, general collective reading. Please only take what resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. You definitely can flip it, switch it, I guess, if it makes sense to do that. Um, if you need to, cross watchers as well. Maybe you're crushing on a Libra. And everything you need to know at Libra is down below in the description box. Your playlist is down there. My other channel, your playlist there. And the list of readings I do here, if you'd like to check that out. So, welcome in Libra. Hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Let's see. Well, we have happy success. We have eight, which is infinity. And it's also, you know, action and movement. Let's see your higher self too, which can be choices, decisions, partnerships, and unities. It's almost like your higher self is calling in love because her heart is illuminated here. Wow. Okay. Commitment. Wow. I just got that for Gemini. And we have uh, three, which is about growth expansion. We have present power and we have two. So we have two twos, an eight, and a three. Hmm. See uh, lines there. So I don't know if someone has, um, if you have Leo in your chart. So you could be doing really, really well right now, Libra. Feeling very, very successful, committed to your success. Of what you're doing right now, very powerful in your power. But it's also like your higher self is calling in something as well. Hmm. So you could be manifesting this for yourself without even knowing it. All right, so what I'm going to do here at Libra first is um, take a look at your energy. And I know you probably saw that door open. That was my cat, not a ghost. So let me just shut that, otherwise it all the light kind of creeps out. All right, let's see. Let's take a look at your energy first. Libra, the moon in reverse. No fear here. There's no fear here with Libra. Wheel of Fortune, things definitely going in your favor right now. Things are going really, really good. Page of Swords, you could be really getting yourself out there, networking, socializing um, in all forms, you know, whether it's online or just your community or at work, you know, a lot of communication. Seven of Wands in reverse, which is good. Walls are down, feeling good, feeling confident. Four of Pentacles, upright though, which is about, you know, feeling secure and stable. Wow. I, I mean, that sometimes can be holding back or resistance. I'm not really feeling that. I'm just feeling you have a level of security and stability right now. You know, you're not on guard. Your, your walls are down, not in a defensive energy, which is good. A lot of communication, a lot of socializing, networking, getting yourself out there. You could be talking to somebody online. I don't know, maybe. Really feeling like, you know, everything in your life right now is going in your favor. The wheels are turning. Feeling good and confident. Not fearing. Like, no fear. There's no fear here with Libra. No, and out the moon in reverse, which is good. Wow. So we have Pisces, Sag, Leo, Chris, Taurus, Scorpio. Actually, a page of swords, Aquarius, but it could be you, Libra. Three of cups in reverse, though. I don't, maybe you're not really dating anyone right now. Maybe just focused on your success. But we have the Queen of Swords upright, which is you again. So you may not be dating anyone currently, um, but you're maybe wishing and hoping with the star here, which is kind of gave me this energy of like manifesting, wishing, hoping, manifesting for something to come your way. <laughs> Look at that as I say that Three of Cups upright. This one's in reverse. So there's more than one in this deck. And the black and white one here gives me that energy of like just a dreamy state something that's not really set in reality so she's kind of dreaming maybe of dating getting to know somebody so i don't think you have any like bad three swords in reverse so no like bad energy surrounding you this time which is kind of good 
So we have Aquarius. That could be you, Libra. All right. So Libra, really good energy for you here regarding your energy. So let's see what's coming in for you, what is around you for Libra. Judgment. Hmm. Okay. The world in reverse. Four of cups in reverse. Ten of wands in reverse, though. And the six of pentacles in reverse. So, hmm. Is this someone, Libra, that you kind of liked in the past, but maybe they were stuck in a cycle they couldn't get out of? Because I kind of see um, this judgment can be about, you know, final judgment call, releasing, the releasing of something. Um, could be a past life connection, but also could be a resurrection. So if somebody was stuck in something, um, the world in reverse is like stuck in a cycle th that needs to end. But Four of Cups is a little sadness, uncertainty here, but the Ten of Wands in reverse can be that same energy of something being kind of stuck but needs to be done. Six of Pentacles in reverse, not really any give and take here. But we have the Lovers on the bottom of the deck, Gemini. So it could be somebody in the past you kind of had a connection with. And maybe you're like, okay, well, I know that they're married or I know that they're in a situation or whatever the circumstances may be. You may have realized, yes, I have these feelings for them, but I know... It can't happen or it's not meant to be so you kind of just put it aside even though you know they light your heart up but there could be something with this person that maybe something could be switching here i mean we do see a connection here with the lovers and look we have six of cups somebody's coming back Com communication could be coming in we have the high priestess in reverse so we have pisces and gemini and look at that the ten of cups Total happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way. Justice in reverse, though. Nine of Pentacles. Well, somebody could be single now. So, you know, maybe whatever this contract was, this person was in, maybe it's over now. Hmm, could be. All right, so we have Scorpio. Leo occurs for Scorpio. Showing up. We saw Pisces. All right, didn't ask it. So what else do we need to know about this situation? I feel like you you kind of released it like you knew, you know, I'm just going to focus on me, do me. I'm not going to let it hold, hold me back. But I feel like you're really in your power. Um, but I think there's somebody here that you did have um, maybe feelings for or a connection with. King of Swords. Could be you, Libra, or another uh, Earth sign. Death in reverse, though. Six of Swords in reverse. That could be somebody coming back again because it's usually about traveling in reverse. Could be someone staying stuck in a bad situation or maybe someone's coming back. Seven of Pentacles. No more slow walking. Seven of Pentacles in reverse is about no more stagnancy. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Which is coming out of a lack mentality. So you could be getting uh, truth and clarity here because this could be you. Death in reverse. Maybe this person has never, even though something here couldn't be, they never truly stopped thinking about you. Like it's not over between you with death in reverse. They could be coming back and now things are starting to pick up. So there's a sense of not feeling um, in the sense of like love or I feel like you're successful everywhere else, but the sense of like dating or love coming out of that lack mentality regarding that, I feel. Like I said, communication could be coming in here. Again, Ace of Swords, definitely. High Priestess in Reverse is about, um, you know, speaking because upright usually is like no communication because she's very quiet and reserved, but not in reverse. And Ace of Swords is definitely clarity coming in here that may actually blow your mind. Someone, Eight of Swords in Reverse is unstuck from something. Empress in reverse. This person could have been attached to a very nasty uh, karmic. That's what I'm feeling as well. But they could be coming in with clarity here. No more secrets about what actually happened there. So we have, um, that's actually Libra Taurus right here. Uh, let's see. Pisces. Interesting. All right. So let's see 
what else we need to know for Libra. What else do we need to know? I feel like the connection between the two of you is not done. I don't think like you never were involved with them. That's because this is new love. So it could be a connection that can never go anywhere. So it could just be that energetic connection or the crush or the chemistry or whatever, the flirting, but it never actually went anywhere. All right. Let's see. Eight of Swords showing up again, getting unstuck. Here comes the clarity. Communication. Successful new beginning. Cutting away what's no longer serving. Two of Swords. Somebody's making a decision here. Two of Pentacles, Two of Swords. Ten of Swords in reverse. So this Ten of Swords is either saying completely over and done. Decision is being made. Here comes the clarity. And someone is unstuck from something. The Hermit in reverse. So whoever's been in seclusion here um, is about to come out of seclusion. Six of Wands in reverse. Three of Swords in reverse. Yeah, I'm definitely Ten of Cups. I feel they were in a very unhappy situation. Very nasty person. Could have been a marriage for Wands here. But the struggle's almost over with this Nine of Wands. Again, black and white. Like, isn't such a heavy energy. The Fool. So I don't feel like this is like new energy. Like someone you've never met before. You don't know. I think it's someone that you do know. So we have Aquarius, Libra, Taurus, um, Virgo. Let me just shut this door again because my cat's going in and out, in and out. Okay. All right, so let's pull, sorry guys. Let's pull a little bit more here for Libra. So I want to know, you could have, you know, spiritual 5D connection with this person as well, with that higher self. So let's see where this is going. So you may get like unexpected communication because I see like mind being blown here with this communication. Like maybe you just, you, you took it out of your mind because you're like, you know, it's something that is never ever going to be. And then all of a sudden you get communication from this person and you're like, oh my God. Let's see. Ace of Pentacles. Oh my goodness. Devil in reverse. Someone's released the devil and they may tell you that, that they released a very karmic, nasty um, person here. Here's a solid new beginning, something tangible, stable. Nine of Pentacles. They're single and independent. In the lovers. Oh my God. See, they always felt the connection with you as well. In the sun. So there is a happy outcome here. The sun in reverse is still a happy outcome. Just a little bit of a delay. But I think they're going to tell you they always felt the connection. They were in a very unhappy situation, but they're free from that. They released it. All those karmic ties are cut, complete. Here's a solid new beginning. Even if it starts as let's talk, let's meet up, let's talk, whatever here, this is going to start laying the foundation very stable uh, future and you still have the sun which is still the happiest outcome just delay and it's just going to take a little time for this to process and to um, take root but somebody is single now so we do have capricorn gemini uh, leo eight of pentacles i think they're going to tell you that they're not working um on that situation anymore it's over and it's done ace of wands ex gives room here for exciting new beginning Knight of Cups, romance, courting, dating, getting to know. This is what you've been dreaming of. Manifesting. There's your happy outcome with the Ten of Cups. Wow. Yeah, very strong connection that cannot be denied. We have Leo energy here. Past lives, maybe even if someone has overcome a very toxic situation. Here comes communication again, High Priestess in reverse, which is Pisces and the Ten of Pentacles. This could be something long term and I do feel someone got out of a very nasty situation as well and yet again my cat all right make up his mind all right so let's pull you some of these Libra Libra everything again everything you need to know is down below your playlist is down there uh, the list of readings I do here my other channel in your uh, playlist over there as well all right Libra. So let's get you some of these. What else do we need to know about Libra? Oh my goodness. 
let's see, transform, 35, uh, which is 8, something is about to happen here, because 8s are about infinity, travel, action, strength, that's twice we have that, 46, 10, endings and new beginnings, again, a very strong connection that cannot be denied, I'm getting a lot of like brown energy here, which gives me the energy of like earth energy, so very stable grounded energy, all right, what else here for Libra? Acceptance, 49, which is 13, which is 4. Stable ground energy, so acceptance, so accepting things as they are. Accepting, I feel like accepting this person's proposal here. You got two aces, ace of swords, ace of pentacles. Answers within, 19, which is 10. Maybe deep down you always knew because you have your higher self right here, that you, you just felt you knew somehow someday that we're going to be together. I don't know how it's going to happen, but in a way, in the circumstances that were present at that moment, you knew it couldn't it couldn't be at that time, so you kind of gave it up. You stayed focused on yourself, but you, you knew within that someday, somewhere, somehow, I just know we're going to be together, and I feel like it's finally happening. Negativity. 17, 8, again, another 8 action. This person, again, is releasing, overcoming the negativity, and I feel like it was a very toxic person in their life. Reawaken, 7, another 7, a lot of 7s here. So I feel like you helped to reawaken their feelings towards love, emotions, passion again, since they were in a very toxic, unhappy connection as well. So you reawaken that uh, vitality, that new feeling of you know, love and happiness and joy. This could lead to commitment down the road. Just saying. Just saying. And you always knew it. You always knew it. I feel Libra. All right, Libra, that's what I have for you. So again, everything you need to know is down below. Your playlist is down there. Like I said, everything's there. So wishing you the best, Libra, and I shall see you next time.